Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower page. This is your Gemini, or this is for Gemini, this is your June 2022 general reading. And for those of you who have seen these videos of mine before, I'm not at home. I'm at my friend's house, LM Cook's house. And um, look at all the artwork. We're actually working on a card deck together. And the Kickstarter will be coming, so it's all explained. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And we're just... Um, doing uh, the regular general readings. Remember that general readings, they may or may not resonate with you. And what we will do is we will slightly separate the, the topics. Uh, so first we will look at the overall energy for the month of May for the sign of Gemini, before we then move into the uh, emotional core, uh, see what can go, maybe love is coming in, who knows. And then we will look at the overall, sorry, we will look at the opportunities for the month of June 2022 and opportunities for the most part are what sustains you financially. So, with no further ado, my friend Ellen Cook will now start with the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Gemini. And before we do all this, there is a link in the description because Ellen Cook, I can't say LM, it sounds weird, <laughs> LM Cook. <laughs> it's much easier to say that. <laughs> LM. <laughs> um, does a lot of artwork and she sells the most beautiful things like candles and candle holders and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, the link to her Facebook uh, uh, shop is in the description box. Right? So let's do that. Here we go. So now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of June for the sign of Gemini. And the card that fell out of the pack is the Phoenix for trans transmutation. So basically for June, what we're looking at is a bit of a rebirth. New things starting, but they're starting from the ashes of old things. So you may find that uh, things you've been holding on to for a little bit too long, maybe, are actually moving away from you now. But that's not the end of the world. That's actually a good thing, because all that ash, all that burning everything away makes the new, new space fertile. And something amazing, a phoenix, is going to emerge from that for you. So new good things are coming for you in June. Thank you. So let's have a look if this continues with your emotional core. For the emotional core, you have quite loving words you have heart and lovers and what that means is that while this is not a guarantee that love as such will happen you have heart and lovers which means it is important for yourself for gemini's in the month of june to have an open mind and an open heart in order for you to actually attract and with an open heart also manifest what you deserve and not going back into old patterns because they do not serve you and it is imp uh, important to remember this because of the phoenix, you know, renewal kind of stuff. You don't want to uh, renew things you no longer need. So the heart energy um, really has to do with new beginnings and very likely with love and relationships. From, these, from the combination of these two cards, I do not get the feeling that in the month of June, there is an awful lot of healing that has to be done for Gemini. Right? And now we're talking about opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2022. Have to wait till they jump out, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. There we go. There we go. Ah, opportunities for the month of June we have the bluebird spirit of happiness. So the opportunities that are gonna come your way are gonna be things that will actually make you joyful. So keep, you're gonna to have to look out for this quite a lot because happiness isn't one of those things that's easy to find necessary. So keep your eyes open. What are the things that actually give you joy and follow those because those are where the opportunities will present themselves. So you may find there's a passion you have that you really want to follow. That's something that, that really sparks you know, makes, it makes your life light up a little bit. And if you follow that, that's where the opportunities will present themselves. Might be in a new job, might be in a new way of um, looking at yourself or um, a new way of uh, meeting people, that kind of thing. Opportunities, though, will be there if you look for them. You have to follow the things that actually really make you happy. Yeah. Always reminds me of Follow the Right Rabbit from, from um, what was the name of the movie? The Matrix. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And that was your Gemini 20 or June 2022 Gemini general reading with myself, Thomas Yannick. 
And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. See you all next month. Bye bye.